The is odd gap is not a problem. The is odd gap is considered a problem because there doesn't seem to be a way to deduce an odd statement, what we should do, from is statements, how the world is. I will argue that propositional logic is not the Swiss army knife of thinking. We do reason based on perceptions and speech acts that do not state facts. Is statements are not special. So what is logical deduction? We put some propositions as premises and if these premises are true, then the conclusion necessarily is also true. Let's take a look at the following. 1. Some birds can fly. 2. All birds are animals. 3. Therefore, some animals can fly. If the structure of the argument is correct and if the premises are true, we are guaranteed to have arrived at the conclusion that is also true. That's why philosophers put syllogism on a pedestal. The problem, however, comes up when we want to arrive at a prescription for action. For example, 1. Some people are in need. 2. Some people can provide aid. 3. Therefore, some people should provide aid to those in need. When we look at the conclusion, we see that it seems to be of a different type. It's not simply saying something about the world or how things are. The some people should provide aid to those in need expresses a duty to follow. In short, we cannot go from is statements to the odd statement because they are of incompatible types. For most philosophers, this means we can never arrive at moral statements by examining how the world is. But is this really a problem? The is-odd gap is only a problem for deduction in logic. But reasoning, including rational thinking, is not limited to deduction or even to logic. Yes, that's right, we can and we do think correctly, rationally, outside of the system of logic. If we do it already, then the is-odd gap may not be such an insurmountable issue as some philosophers make it out to be. Let's look at an example where classical logic doesn't seem to be the proper tool. Deduction cannot handle questions. 1. It's dinner time. 2. We wash our hands before sitting at the table. Conclusion. Therefore, have you washed your hands? In this silly example, we see that putting a question into the argument makes it look weird if we think of it as a detective reasoning. But take a look at the following. Mother, Jimmy, dinner's ready. Jimmy, I'm coming. Mother, have you washed your hands? Jimmy, okay, okay. Action, Jimmy goes to wash his hands. Here, we see valid reasoning leading to appropriate action. This reasoning includes propositions and a question. The question was not merely needed to arrive at the conclusion, it was needed to guide action. It is an ordinary thought process, but it is not a strict syllogism. We don't use propositional deductive logic when we are doing jigsaw puzzles, when we emphatically recognize the emotions of another person, or when we want to ask, can you pass the salt please? The utterances we make are much more varied than the simple is statements. I pronounce you husband and wife is not a statement of fact, it's fact creation. I promise I'll return the book next week is not a proposition but a promise. Clean your room is a command. Did you watch that movie we talked about is a question. We make various inferences based on such speech acts even though they are not is statements, and it's not a problem, never has been. We treat all those various utterances as having some reality to them. When someone screams, look out, the car, we don't stop and respond with, this is not a proposition, therefore I cannot use it to deduce what I should do, you react. This is because we treat those various types of expressions as having implications or saying something important. Why would we treat odd statements differently? Why do we take all the above examples seriously 
but when it comes to morality, we suddenly despair or lose any credence in odd statements. It doesn't seem justified to demand some special treatment of odd statements when we're perfectly fine with promises, commands, questions, declarations and other types of speech acts. It doesn't seem justified to put is statements on a special pedestal. This is simply one type of utterance we make. The problem is not with the nature of odd statements. The problem is with people trying to shoehorn them into mental devices like propositional logic that aren't fit for the task.